what, what are all you people doing here? We canceled this show. <sighs> I guess we didn't get the word out. Oh, well. We'll go ahead and do it. April Fools! <laughs> Nobody was expecting that. The Comedy Grinder! Streaming live, worldwide, from the first church of Tenebus. Tonight, Kurt Allen, Brandon Glidden, Patrick Gaughan, Nervous Vernon Munchie, Jerry Goble, and your MC, Scotty Steinhoff. Tonight's Tonight. episode... I holy day. Uh, you know, Vern and I are from very different backgrounds. You know, uh, uh, he was kind of seedy across the tracks, and I was uh, raised in a gated community. <laughs> <laughs> Boys' school doesn't count, actually. You've yeah, now the barbed wire makes sense. It's gates, sir. Uh, but uh, we, we have very different backgrounds. Yeah. He was more rock and roll, uh, country western oriented. I was theater and opera, but... We both had a love for the great Marty Robbins. You might have heard of Marty Robbins. In fact, we were so moved by uh, Marty's music, yes. we thought, you know, why don't we just write him a song? And we did. We recorded it, sent it off to his people. We haven't heard a thing back. I don't understand what's going on there. He, Scotty, he's dead. He's dead. For those of you who know who he is, he's That's the joke. no longer here. But we thought, why let a uh, good song go to waste? And we decided to go ahead and do it for you tonight. And it's a little thing that we like to call... The Ballad of Cowboy Jack. Very sad song. Very sad song. Jack was a cowboy, the roughest in town, but he was our neighbor and friend. One day he rode out, said, I'm El Paso bound, gonna find me some whiskey and women and sin. Jack stopped at a sleazy cantina, met up with a dark senorita. She had her a boyfriend, Pepina. But Pepina shot Jack in the back. Ass, ass was not even necessary. Ah. Didn't have to do it. Oh, I think I pulled something. They patched Jack up after the battle. But he still couldn't ride in his saddle. So they trussed up our neighbor and friend. Sent him home to us, tied to his horse's rear end. <laughs> you remember that day, don't you, Munch? I sure do, nervous. That was the day we helped Jack off the horse. Jack off the horse. It was a day filled with sadness and bitter remorse. It was a day we helped Jack off, Jack off that horse. <laughs> What's the matter with you? What's wrong with you people? You know, I looked around the room just now, and I noticed that some of you didn't care for that song. <laughs> well, wait till you see the video. <laughs> it's a bitch. <laughs> Jack's horse was a wild one. He's mean all the time. He'd kick and he'd buck and he'd bite. Now he's so quiet, so happy and calm. That horse seemed to change overnight. Since the day we helped Jack off the horse. Everybody sing. Jack. If you're going to do it at work Monday, I'll guarantee it. It was a day filled with sadness and bitter remorse. It was a day we helped Jack off, Jack off that horse. Thank you. No, but I make stupid decisions. I let my grandmother play Grand Theft Auto one time. Don't ever do that. If, you, if your grandparents are still alive and you love them, don't do that. Because I handed her the controller and within maybe five minutes, she made me reconsider my position on God because that bitch is officially a demon. She gets in the car and she's like driving like she normally would. She stays within the lines and actually stops at a red light. And I'm like, Grandma, you don't have to do anything. Like, you don't have to abide by the rules. And she's like, really? So I don't have to use turn signals? They don't put turn signals on the game, Grandma. Well, why would they put cars on a game and no turns? Just play the damn game, woman. She's like, okay. 
She immediately hops out of her car, shoots the driver of the car next to her, hops in and proceeds to take off mowing down pedestrians on the sidewalk. <laughs> what the hell? And then, even bigger shocker, she pulls up to a red light, sees a cop at the crosswalk, shoots him with a rocket launcher, and then ducks down an alley and shooting hookers with an Uzi. I'm like, I thought this woman was an angel. What are you doing, Grandma? And she... She proceeds to tell me, you know, back in the 70s, your grandfather slept around and I never had the balls to do anything about it. And it's like, oh, God damn, all righty. Uh, <laughs> given what I've just found out, I can understand the hookers, but what did that cop ever do to you? And at 74 years old, she didn't know it, but this woman went full NWA. Brandon, fuck the cops. Oh, 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 oh. Ain't that America, you and me? Ain't that America something to be? Hey, are you an organ donor? You ever thought about giving your kidneys away to a rich guy? You know, don't worry, we'll grow them later from pigs for you. It's okay. Monsanto bringing you a new tomorrow. <laughs> your third arm got you down? <laughs> Welcome to Indiana. Our for-profit prisoner program ensures that your child will be mutated into something useful. Years and years of no child left behind, fill in the dots, have made him kind of a blank, empty dipshit. <laughs> Can't follow the rules, so we're gonna put him to work in the new slave system in Indiana. We're progressive. That's assuming you start from zero and you're working your way forward. Right now we're about 1600s. We're a little behind the time here. But Mike Pence is doing a great job bringing it all back home. Back to the day when women could just get the fuck back in the kitchen. Because that's where all the coat hangers were. And, uh, right? Is that what you do? Is that how it goes, Mikey? I'm sorry, I'm not religious. I don't know how it works. I, I just always thought you treat people like people, and whatever, you know? We're all action figures. I get that, that's my biggest problem, I guess, with the fundamental mechanics of reality. None of this is real. You are all action figures in my demented little game. I'm out of my mind. I'd have to be out of my mind. Why the fuck would I live in a for-profit prison state that has a problem with a drug that keeps me from murdering the rest of the motherfuckers in the state? <laughs> but like I'm married and uh, things get weird because like I'm this huge geek and my wife is like so not a geek and things get, sometimes get weird when it comes to sexy time because she'll want to role play. She's like, yeah, and, and role-playing takes on a whole new meaning when you're a geek, because I start thinking World of Warcraft, Dungeons & Dragons. So she's like, oh, honey, let's role-play tonight. I'll be the sexy businesswoman whose husband's out of town. Who are you going to be? I'm a level 20 elf with orcish king armor. I'm the pizza guy. Honey, we've been married 14 years. You know there's no extra sausage. <laughs> we've got a little request that we'd like to make. This isn't a joke. It isn't a fake. But you see, we really got this pressing need. Has anybody got any weed? Cause we're jonesing like a mother and we're dry as a bone. Get our connection on the telephone So let us repeat If you miss the point Can anybody front us a joint Or two or three Has anybody got any pies? Creamery is the one thing that we ain't got Same green stuff that grows with some seeds and a stem We really need a shot of that vitamin in We don't need no acid cause we're getting too old Don't need no cocaine our hearts will explode. What we really, really want you all to help us obtain is a little bit of Mary Jane. Oh, forget it. Has anybody got any pot? Reefer is one thing that we ain't got. It's that green stuff it rolls with some seeds in the stem. We really need a shot of that vitamin and we don't need no zannies or bikes or perks. Don't buy us drugs cause we'll act like jerks. What we really Really want you all to take away from this. Is there anybody that's really maybe got a couple of joints out of the ashtray of their car? I mean, that's what's going Anything on Anything like that.
We're not joking. Uh, uh, I don't know if you're carrying not a uh, half an OZ. Something you left in the ashtray that the police Crazy. didn't find. You know, just uh, 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 a dime bag. We're not a picky. Low grade if you got a lot. A nickel. We'll take it. A tray. What, you, a God, deuce. You're lying. Every one of you is lying. Church of Cats. It's the gift that keeps on giving. And a matter of five or so pot. We're talking herbal. Can somebody get me some weed? Roll up a fatty. And give it to somebody who'll give it to us, I swear to God. And pass it forward. And any matter get me some herb? We aren't kidding. I'm really, really out of pot if you got some baby. And whistling Dixie. Can somebody get me some weed? We really mean it. And any matter of five or so pot? We won't stop singing. Till somebody gets us a joint. Till you come off it. And Wait, I'm on probation. Oh, yeah. Has anybody got any pot? I went in. I was like, I'm desperate. I got a baby on the way. I need a, I need a job. He said, can you pass a drug test? I said, today? <laughs> he said, yeah, today. I said, I can tomorrow. <laughs> Who says that and still gets the job? <laughs> Somebody with a lot of experience. And passing drug tests. <laughs> I've been passing drug tests since the mid-80s when I was in the Army. <laughs> we smoke more before 9 a.m. than most people smoke all day. People want to know, uh, like, what was the worst part about being over there? And they're like, well, was it getting shot at all the time? I'm like, well, that sucked. That was horrible, but it wasn't the worst part. They're like, really? What was it getting like mortars dropped on you? I was like, oh yeah, that was scary shit, but it wasn't the worst part. I'm like, oh, oh, it had to be the heat. And I'm like, oh yeah, the heat was horrible, but it wasn't the worst part. They're like, what the hell was the worst part? It's like, the worst part was I shared a room with four other guys. I had no time for me time. The only time I could enjoy myself was in the Porta John. And that really fucked me up, because the first six months I was home, I could only jerk off at construction sites and county fairs. <laughs> oh, new development going in. Oh, yeah. This is a one-gram tube of RSO. There's nothing RSO-y in it. That's actually for effect. That's molasses. That's molasses. It looks just like it's a nice tarry substance. It fills it up. But that's a gram. I don't know if you guys can see that. I was going to put it against the red. That's the other reason. You see how big that is? That's a gram. You know what that really is? That's a 10-year prison sentence for possession of this. A one-day dose of a cancer cure. One day. You got to get a 30-day supply. If you get it in one sitting, if you can afford it, 30 days, that's 300 years. For one month supply, something to keep you from dying. Actually, the molasses in this motherfucker is more dangerous than marijuana. Because my teeth are falling the fuck out. I'll tell you what, I have been... <laughs> Sucking on molasses and I don't brush and oh my cavity creeps are all tar covered and they're like Jesus Christ man Why don't you Indiana people put this on your fucking roads and fix something for real for Christ's sakes? Why don't we quit Quit pretending the tranny in the bathroom is really the problem. Sorry. It's not that guy It's the guy in the fucking American flag vest saying he doesn't want to see any trannies in another restroom That's the guy. That's the problem fucking what a, what a lame-ass pickup line. I can't let the trannies go to the women's restroom. I got to protect them. Bring them over here to my stall. Our hometown. For those of you who are yeah, watching Marcel around the Arles, world. We like to call it the farm team for the Indiana Department of Corrections. That's what you got there. The stars of tomorrow. <laughs> well, for all of you around the world who uh, maybe have never heard of Mars Hill, let's see if we can sum it up in some way that would make sense to you. Uh, Maybe where you live in the nicer neighborhoods, you'll see the kids outside. They'll have their little lemonade stands. You know, they sell the lemonade. Uh, kids in Mars Hill, uh, they sell clean urine samples. That's how they do it. Because you got to pass them CDL tests. That's you know? right, man. Yeah. Two Mars Hill kids sitting in the park. <laughs> what are you going to be when you give up? <laughs> <laughs> it's just that kind of place, you know? <laughs> Wrote a little song about it, and this is how it goes. I'm sleeping on the porch to get out of the heat. Some drunks and some crackheads across the street. A cop comes arrest them all like I knew that he would. He took me oh, like yeah. I knew they would. Something tells me I'm living in the hood. I got a lot of dough. 
a kite. I'm weaving down the street and it's late at night. Some guys are following me and it looks like they're up to no good. They're following me, uh -huh, but they're yeah. up to no good. Something tells me I'm living in the hood. Something tells me I'm living in the hood. Something tells me I'm living in the hood. The guy next door used to drive a cab. Now it's a rolling methamphetamine lab. I see him in the morning going down the lane. I have to flag him down cause I'm out of cocaine. Hey, da, 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 da. A girl ask her out on a date She seems really pleased Till I ask what's your rate The knot that she left on my head Said I misunderstood The knot that she left oh, yeah. misunderstood Something tells me I'm living in the hood Something tells me I'm living in the hood Something tells me I'm living in the hood I work uh, with some crazy people like my friend James. James said his old job was running out in traffic with the spray bottle and wiping off windshields, which is why I now call him Jim Kardashian. <laughs> See, that's why I don't do topical humor, people. I mean, I'm pretty sure I will not do one joke about Charlie Sheen. Actually, I'm positive. <laughs> No ju no ju Sheen sells tea cells by the seashore. <laughs> I feel like Indianapolis should be walled off from the rest of the state at this point. I'm ready to call it a siege state. Bring all the gay people back to Indianapolis. Everybody, come on back. Let's circle up. We know most of those people from the outlying regions can't get into the city because 465 confuses them. It's a big round circle that goes in a circle, but just like most problems with their politics, they just don't seem to merge well. I personally am a cat person. I have four cats myself, training for my life as a single crazy postmenopausal woman. I have the starter kit. Now of all my cats, my favorite cat is my fat cat. She's just so sweet and cuddly and stuff, and I just love her. The only bad part about her is uh, when she cleans herself, she can't use her mouth. She's got to use her paw, and she's got to look at you when she does it. So I'll be sitting there watching TV. I look down. This is what I see. <laughs> it's really bad when she purrs. And I tell my friend about that, he goes, oh, that's nothing. Our cat's so fat, we have to clean him for him. <laughs> I could never do that. <laughs> Hit it, Vern. If you need a little boost, if you need a little kick, if you need yourself a raging phallus, don't go see Betty or Bobby or Jean. You know you gotta go see Alice. <laughs> Cause a limp little member is the last thing ever of a sex drive that's gonna sell. So find yourself the will and grab that yellow pill and pop it in your mouth. Pop it in your mouth, get it? <laughs> <laughs> you will later if you play your cards out. <laughs> See Alice, the quicker pecker upper. That's what it is. No? See Alice, when it absolutely positively has to be there tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the guys always get that. Seattle is strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. <laughs> That's right. See, we got 36 hours before we have to finish this. <laughs> yeah, we don't need a lot of time. It's gonna be a long we'll time. usually just wait till the time's right. You I know think the I mean? time's right, it nervous. Right. If your dog won't hunt and your punter won't hunt and you're filled with rage and malice, don't go see Mary or Margaret or Kate. You know you gotta go see Alice. You know you gotta go see Alice. You know you gotta go see Alice. See Alice. Thank you. Stuff right there. It may cause diarrhea. You have to decide if she's worth it. That's right. Pretty sure I have yet to see the one I'll shit a bed over. I'll tell you that. <laughs> she could be out there. I and have then, no idea. She might be. I'm not sure. And then here's the thing. I've seen her. In the commercial, they said if you have an erection that lasts four or more hours, See your doctor. 
I'm going to be 60 this summer. You know, if I've got an erection that's lasting four or more hours, I'm not calling my doctor. I'm calling a photographer. <laughs> you know, I want to record this event. You know, it's like when you rent a stretch limo. You know, you know you're not going to have it long, but still you want your friends to see you with it. You know? <laughs> Remember that day? Yeah, I do. Is that somebody's phone? Yeah. This late in the day? Oh, Jesus, am I eating it that bad? Or is that the Pence Brigade coming in to get me? Because Mike Pence is coming for me. <laughs> we'll see GI and the rest later for the video. I'm not going to be seen for a few months. We'll do the hoax thing. It'll be all. You guys will be wondering if Bill Hicks came back as Jerry Goble. That's what you'll wonder. You'll say, Alex Jones. No way, not Alex Jones. Bill wouldn't come back as Alex Jones. Because Alex ain't funny, frankly. I've seen him open for Stanhope. He's horrible. Well, Vern and I sat down one night to watch the evening news. And the hatred and the violence there just gave us both the blues. We said there must be something out there that will cure these ills. A natural alternative that can't be found in pills. Well, all at once old Bill Levin came striding through the door. A light was shining from his face we'd never seen before. He said, now boys, I've got the stuff to cure your mind and soul. And I'll tell you all about it if you'll let me fill your bowl. He's generous that way. <laughs> he said the first church of cannabis, the home of peace and love. The first church of cannabis, a gift from up above. The first church of cannabis will spread your holy name. From England to Japanibus, your virtues will proclaim. You like that? You're not supposed to clap during a hymn. It's just not done. Well, Vern and I jumped up and said, Bill, where is this place that sounds so sweet? He said, it's on the south side over there on Rural Street. We don't pray to amphetamines. We don't pray to cocaine. Instead of Hail Mary, we say Hail Mary Jane. We are the first church of cannabis, the home of peace and love. The first church of cannabis, a gift from up above. The first church of cannabis will spread your holy name. From England to Japan of us, your virtues will proclaim. I think everybody all sing. I do too. The first church of cannabis, the home of peace and love. The first church of cannabis, a gift from up above. That's it.